Yes, sir. Welcome fucking back, Physique Crew. Back to another day, another vlog, another workout, another day. New money, baby. Um, but today, like I said, got another workout. Gonna work out shoulders today, specifically. Um, not arms and shoulders. I don't know how people break down their programming, but today we're gonna just do shoulders today. A light day today because my camera is on 27%. Is this shit even recorded? This shit is recorded. My shit is on 27%, so I got to be mindful of that. Uh, so I'm not going to go too much in depth into the workout, like showing all the sets. I'll just show like, you know, the most important parts or where I'm like trying to explain the thing and then show you how to move it. So quick little video and the shoulders too. Shouldn't take too, too long. So, um, yeah, let me quicker video than um, my other one, so we'll be good. Um, but yeah, warming up outside, uh, good view, good scenery. So just gotta make sure my shoulders loose. That's what I do to warm up. I usually get like a band. Not too much resistance, moderate resistance. Um, yeah, I had to delete some 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 shit. My fucking storage is acting up, but uh. Uh, yeah, like I said, I don't know where I left off, but quick workout with the band, warm up from here, stretch it out a little bit, just to activate those, that, those rear delts. Also do it each, you go for like, you can pulse it with this around like 20, 30 seconds, just to get that warmed up. Cause you know, Niggas get old, the niggas just start to be on some like, ah, I'm throwing that weight up, throwing that weight up, bro. Like, it's not the same, bro. It's not the same. You gotta be smarter. And that's what I was telling you last year. You gotta be smarter when you're working out. You gotta know when to go up weight, crazy, crazy, and when not to. Or just to stay moderate. You're, you're getting the work done no matter what. So, it's nothing, nothing wrong. But it's just how you're getting the work done, bro. Um, also, another one th thing I do with the band. So, just apply some pressure and then rise up. Keep the tension, come back back down. This works a lot to keep the tension. Obviously, the thicker the band, the harder the resistance is. But, you know, do it works for you, right? This helps a lot. So yeah, like I said, um, today's workout is gonna consist of three different presses, Lateral raises, a lot of them on my shoulder. I do a lot of fucking lateral raises, um, and rear delts too. I don't, I don't work a lot of front delts. There's no point of that. I'll explain why later. But rear delts, side delts, um, yeah, and obviously the uh, you know presses. Oh, you need a fucking press. You need a fucking press. It's the only way you should get it. You need a press. So we're gonna do three different side kind of presses going up there, and then um, yeah. Like I said, like day, not too much uh, time I have on the camera. I don't want this shit to die on us. So like day, uh, let's get started, baby. All right, so first exercise, we're gonna go standing Arnold. Right, Arnold press. For those you don't know, we will start off with the dumbbells right below our chin, right? Point outward. So first movement is here, pointing outward like we're doing a regular military press. Press up. That counts as one. Come back down. Beginning. Outward. Press. That is two. All right? So we're gonna go 10 and increasing weight. Remember controlling the weight too. I'm not just throwing it up there. Then we're gonna superset that with lateral raises, keeping the same weight, light to moderate weight. We're gonna go 15. All right, even for the lateral raises too. A lot of people do the lateral raises differently. There's always different techniques. Remember I said, do what works for you. Um, 
this is what I do. This is how effective it is for me. So like I said, try it out if you want. If you continue with yours and you like yours, then just go do it. With me and my ladder raises, I do not go all the way up. First of all, I don't even go from the side. I always aim right here for my thigh, right? And when I'm going up, I don't go up all the way fully. I go up to about a, maybe to where it's like a T. And the angle I'm going at is not, like I said, it's not from the side. It's more diagonal. So if you were to see it from this side, I'm hitting it from this angle. And from this angle, right? So it's not like the conventional side delt, right? I go ahead, right at an angle. Like I said, I'm not all the way up here. I keep it right here. So yeah, try those out. And um, also cuffing it too. I keep my thumb on the outside just to help the, um, the grip more. And we the form out too. So this one got 15. So we finished with that, that first exercise. So we go on to the next. All right, so I'm on a Smith machine. The way the bench is set up is it's weird enough. I can't get that angle where the good lighting is from, you know, from this side. So y'all don't have to just bear with me and do this angle because this is the best I can do. So um, hopefully you guys can see because it's, it's the fucking machine is next to a wall. It's just, it's funky. So, all right, so now the next part is gonna be another another shoulder press, but this shoulder press is going to be working for the top part of your of your arm um, of the press. So usually on the Smith machine, there's these little clickers, the the the, the lockers. I don't know what the fuck they're called. It's like the adjustment thing where you could put in like the, the safe lock, basically. You're gonna put the safe lock to where the bar is like right at your, at your mouth. So Remember, we're gonna go, this is for the upper part of the press. So usually when I come down to my press, I go below my chin, right to my collarbone, and then press up. So my, my shoulder is from here, and I press up. This one, we're gonna break it in half, basically. So I want you to start where the bar is literally from here. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna press up from this movement. So you're only working on that upper part of the movement instead of the full, full range. Full, and then with this one, you guys can go up weight a lot more than, you know, your regular press and it's on the Smith machine as well too. Like I said, it's working on your upper part. So your, the tension is gonna be constant from here. Basically just think of like, you know, you're raising your hand. You know, when you're resting down here, you're, you're not really putting a lot of stress on your, on your shoulders. You get more stress, the more you raise. So this is why the point is exercise is to keep that tension from here to keep going all the way up, right? So this one, we're gonna go up, you know, keep going up weight on this uh, for three sets. And then we're gonna superset that with shrugs. I'm gonna show you how to do my way of the the best version of a shrug. So, sir, set one. So the shrug, right? <clears throat> Regularly, you will do your shrug from here and your shrug, of course, right? Regular shrug, nah. My version of the shrug is, what you wanna do is, you wanna get a slight lean, right? Slight lean where the, where the dumbbells is right by your knees, right? Put the dumbbell before you, and I want you to lean forward a little bit. It's gonna have to be your back a little bit, but it doesn't matter. Lean forward, right? And then from there, you're gonna shoot up vertically instead of backwards, you're gonna shoot up vertically. You'll see I get much more of a stretch doing it this way than doing it this way. This way you can't go from here, but you get more of a stretch coming from this side and going up. And with this one, I go lighter weight and I go high repetitions. So yeah, remember, not going straight. You could
Good, now I'm going straight. Get that lean, get more of a range of motion. Cause that back muscle is a big ass muscle. You guys gotta understand that. So it's like, it's like, um, like I said, more blood in it, more way the muscle gonna grow. Always think of that. Like if you see people with their biceps, right? You see they have a little peak or a little, little bicep. Might be strong, but it's a little bicep. That let me know right now. I can I can always see your range of motion. I know your range of motion is just from here to here. You need the full range of motion to get that full bicep. Same thing with the back, a pull up. Nope, you need the full range of motion. So the same thing implies a fucking um, a shrug. Yes, you're shrugging from here, but no. Get it from here, you get much more of a stretch and a squeeze at the top from there. Try that shit out. last heavy compound exercise before we get to like you know cable accessory work um it's another press another press keep doing your motherfucking presses bro all right and then we're gonna superset this press with another lateral raise but now we're gonna switch up the playing field now lighter to moderate press still heavy but this one we're gonna go 12 reps and then we're gonna go heavy lateral raise for about eight, right? And with the heavy lateral raise, you could go if you want to, but stay at the comfortable. Cause me, my thing is, I don't like giving too much, um, too much advice with shoulders. Cause like a lot of people are different, especially in the shoulders, bro. I can't even tell somebody like, yo, let's go up. Like their shoulder might be jacked up or there's a lot of variables that are taking place with shoulders. So I say, stay with the heavy weight which what I'm doing, right? I'm gonna go 30 pounds, staying with that 30 pounds. I could do 35, but like I said, my shoulders are, I don't know. So I stay with that 30 pounds, making sure, you know what I'm saying, full range. And yeah, if you can do that, stay with the moderate. If you can go up, hey, so be it, go up, got three rounds. So let's get right into it. <laughs> Take a lot of raises. This should get out the way. Yeah, like I said, see that weight? I'm gonna stick with that weight. Like, it's manageable, but it's it's work. And the 50 pounds, uh, I want 50 on the, on the shoulder press. You want the shoulder press to feel like, like I said, to keep that contention, um, pacing it, right? Pacing it. On the Smith machine, you could've went up weight and you could've kept like repping it out. Cause you're still getting the, you, you know, your partial, your partial reps in. So you could do that, but this, Focus on really controlling weight throughout the whole fucking motion. All right, we got three rounds of this. All right, so my camera is about to die. So this is the last fucking part of the video. Last one we're gonna do is work on the rear delts and the upper back. So what you wanna do is you wanna grab two of the long handle attachment, put them together, get, you can go heavy, but not too, too crazy. So heavy leaning towards moderate weight. You wanna disengage the, the the handles from the bar. What I want you to do is with your elbows pointed up. Try to aim for your chin. Squeeze, hold it in there, and then slow eccentric. And notice how my elbows are flared out. So I'm not doing this. Elbows are flared out. That's just gonna activate the upper back. 
the traps in the rear delts. So. You could rock as well too. You want to lean forward to rock. You could as well. You want to stand up straight then? Stand up straight. But I usually finish off with rear delts. And uh, yeah, easy workouts. I go lightweight, like I said. Every other muscle is real small, so you don't want to go too crazy, hurt yourself. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's it from the fucking camera down. This shit is on 2%. So yeah, listen. Hope you like the video. Like, share, subscribe. Gonna be more coming soon. Um, yeah, the next day probably gonna be your arm day. I'm gonna do some tries and buys with y'all. Show y'all what I do. But um, yeah, thanks for watching. Share this fucking video. Like the fucking video. Love y'all.